I'm currently on the hunt trying to find the finish that is going to leave white oak looking as natural as possible. Typically when I'm using white oak, I've been using Rubia Monocoat in the color natural because it does what it says and it really leaves the wood looking in a very, very natural state. However, I'm currently building a kitchen island and I do not want to use Rubio for a kitchen island. I'm looking for something a lot more durable. So after talking with a lot of friends, um, I came up with some great recommendations and these are gonna be the three finishes that I try. First is the General Finishes High Performance Water-Based Polyurethane in flat. The next option, which was a recommendation from my good friend Mike Coffey, is the Diamond Vogel Aquinity. He uses it very, very often and had nothing but good things to say about it. So I will be testing that out. And finally, something I'm very interested to try, and this is actually a 2K, a two-part um, finish, and that is Renner 718. And based on the recommendations of a couple of people, they say this is actually going to make it seem like there isn't even finish on it, but it is an extremely hard, uh, durable finish. So I'm, I'm really excited to try this one out. Um, these are my test pieces. I'm basically going to break this down into four sections. So I'm going to split them right down the middle. One will be natural, general finishes, uh, diamond Vogel, and finally the Renner. Let's talk about surface preparation. I did both of these exactly the same, sanded them up to 180, clean them off very well, uh, and then I'm gonna apply two coats of each one of the finishes. Now, the Diamond Vogel and the Renner, I will be spraying using an airless sprayer, and the general finishes, just because I have such a tiny bottle, I'm just gonna use a foam brush and apply that. Now, in between the two coats, I will be sanding this back just to get down any nibs or inconsistencies, um, probably with 320. I'm going to start with the General Finishes High Performance. This is a finish that I have used many, many times in the past. Um, some good success, some not go uh, so good success on darker woods just because it does have such a whitening effect. So we'll see. We'll see how this one works out. I'm going to set this off to the side away from what I'm about to start spraying and then get my next piece ready. All set up, ready to spray the first coat of the Diamond Vogel. All right, I've given these uh, ample time to dry. So I'm gonna take some 320 and lightly sand the surface before putting on my second coat. I'm gonna apply my second coat to each one of the pieces. Okay, we're 24 hours later, and before I spray the other finish, I wanted to just show where we are currently. So the two top portions that you see are natural raw wood. This right here is the Aquinity. This right here is the general finishes high performance in flat. And as of right now, this the change of this to the natural is so minimal that it honestly just depends on what angle you're looking at it from and how the light is hitting it to where you'll actually see a difference. Um, hopefully the camera can pick that up. Now the Aquinity definitely does have a darker tone to it. Um, and it also has a slightly higher sheen. So this is much more flat and natural looking than this one is. So, pretty interesting so far. As of right now, I'm leaning towards this for sure. Uh, let's try the Renner coatings now and see what that looks like. Before I spray this, I just wanted to reiterate that the Renner 718, this is a 2K product, which means it's a two-part and requires a catalyst. Now, this is not a two-to-one, 
Um, whatever I'm using on this, I take 5% of that, and that's how much catalyst uh, I need to use. And once you do that, mix it up with a drill and a paddle and uh, start spraying. Before I spray this, I did want to mention the tip that I'm using is the 308, and that is an FFLP, a fine finish, low pressure tip for the airless. So it has been an hour and a half about, which is longer than what it says it needs. Um, my first reaction is it does not look like there is any finish on this at all. Um, maybe here in the center, and, and maybe it's not completely dry yet, um, but definitely dry to the touch. So I'm going to sand it with uh, some 320. Uh, lightly scuff sand. It feels, feels really nice too. Um, and then we'll apply the second coat, which is what they recommend. I really can't believe this. This legitimately feels and looks like it has nothing on it. And I actually think I went a little bit thick on that first coat, but wow. Okay, we have all the finishes applied to the two pieces of white oak that I'm doing the test on these three finishes. And I am absolutely blown away by the Renner 718. So just to uh, orient you guys, I did write on here this time what they are just for you guys to have a little bit better visual. But this is the natural, this is the general finishes high performance, the Aquinity, and the Renner. And I wanted these two to be oriented like this because this really demonstrates how close of a match it really is to the natural look of the wood. Um, obviously, you can see with the general finishes high performance, it does have almost a... It's, a, it's very similar. I, I will say 100% that this would be my option if I didn't try this um, because it is really good, but it does give it a little bit more of a pinkish tone um, that's what I'm picking up. And then the Aquinity, if you wanted it to become a little bit darker, I think that the Aquinity is probably a good option, but I just absolutely love this 718. This has two coats of finish on it. And you, when you feel it, it's like it doesn't have anything on it at all. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see any sheen difference, you probably can on the Aquinity. The Aquinity actually is the shiniest of all of these, but there is zero sheen, zero sheen on this Renner. I mean, it is as natural as it can possibly be. Let's see if I can hopefully get this to pick up. This is less sheen with the general finish high performance. Um, so like I said, if, if I had to pick an, in, in order, number one, number two, number three, uh, and to be honest with you, this is probably something that I wouldn't even bother using, but man, I really would just wish that everybody could be here in my shop right now uh, to, to just see this finish. It is uncanny how natural it is. Now, I did want to throw in another piece that actually caused me to do this demonstration, um, this has a, a slightly different tone to it to begin with, but I tried out the Gemini Evo Eclipse, and this is actually the highest sheen out of all of the finishes I tried, but I sprayed this thinking this is what I was going to use, and I just really did not like the color uh, that it turned it. it. It turned it almost like a yellowish uh, color. While I really like this finish a lot, I just don't like the finish on white oak for what we were trying to go for, which is as clear as possible. But I wanted to put that on here just to show everybody the difference between that uh, and everything else. So without question, this is what we are going to be using for the kitchen island. And if I have the island done before this video comes out, I will put a picture of it here.
So for me, I have definitely found exactly what it is that I've been looking for. Um, but I wanted to mention one thing, and that's um, I have a couple of friends that work for different finish companies. And when they saw a lot of the stuff that I was doing on Instagram, um, they reached out and they were like, hey, we make a product that does the same thing. And what I came to find out, and I didn't know this prior to, is if you want something to look as natural as possible, you want to go for the absolute lowest sheen possible. So everybody, not everybody, but a lot of companies, a lot of the prominent Finnish companies, uh, I'll give an example, like Gemini Coatings, also makes a zero sheen finish. So what I think uh, I'm trying to say by telling you all of that is that now I'm really curious to test out some of the other finishes and their zero sheen, basically the equivalents or competitors to this product uh, and see what kind of differences I get there. So expect a video on that in the future as well. I would love to know what you guys think uh, down in the comment section below. You let me know which one of these you preferred uh, based off what I showed you in the video. Um, for us, again, Renner 718 is absolutely what we will be using and it will probably be what I use on White Oak moving forward. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.